from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Aaron Reeves. Well, we got that little break, then summer just keeps churning along as we roll into August. Got one 100 degree day out of the bunch so far, expecting another today. That puts us up to 23, probably after today, We'll be at 24. We're expecting a high of around 101 to 102 today. One or two locations could be a degree or two warmer, but most locations, except for maybe a couple of community, communities in the far east, uh, will be above 100. So a very hot day today. We'll at least get maybe a chance to relieve tonight and into tomorrow. For some, it's going to feel much warmer, the 105 to 110 with those heat index values. So just once again, we've, we've been through it all summer, so just continue to take it easy as you can. 79 in Kansas City, a little rain there. 94 Tulsa, things warming up quickly. 99 already in Wichita Falls. And you see that cooler temperature in Kansas City. What's going on there? We got this area of showers and some storms. There's a storm system just off to our northwest. It's going to make a run at us. It may give us just enough influence to get some scattered showers and storms going tonight into tomorrow and then things will kind of go away and we'll heat back up for the weekend but there's a little hope for at least a little rain for some in the meantime it's going to be warm and breezy southwest winds we're going to see an elevated fire risk today especially off to the west of tulsa so once again we do have burn bans try to avoid burning for the time being and then tonight we'll see those rain chances tick back in starting in the northeast part of the state then expanding to the most of the area with scattered showers and storms by Thursday morning. And then that area kind of shifts southward as we head into the afternoon hours and chances diminish. We're looking at around a 30, maybe 40% chance of that happening. The upper ridge is still in control, so it's not going to likely get too carried away, but just enough of a weakness that we could get some. That will cool us off a bit for our Thursday. Then we'll start to warm back up into the weekend and then another slight chance late Monday night into Tuesday of a friend approaching the area. We'll see how that pans out, but we got an, another hot stretch coming up. Rainfall forecast over the coming 10 days or so. Overall, not much, kind of spotty, but some people once again could get a good downpour. Not right now, lots of sunshine on our Osage Casino sky cam. 94 feels like 100. There's that wind south gusting to 26. So that, that's helping out a good bit. It's a dew point of 70, so it's very stuffy out there. So without that wind, it'd be way rougher. 97 Coffeeville, 96 in Oak Mulgee. Look at you follow there in Stigler at 98. So things are heating up rather rapidly. It already feels like we're in the mid 90s to low 100s across much of the area. So future view as we end the afternoon. Notice that boundary to the north, a few showers and storms near the state line. Otherwise hot temperatures over 100. That drops into the area tonight. We'll see that chance as we head into tonight, tomorrow morning of those widely scattered showers and storms, maybe a bit more numerous as we head into Missouri and Arkansas. And then as we head into tomorrow afternoon, that activity shifts southward. We'll be hot, but not as hot. So at least that's good. And then rolling on into Friday, things start to warm back up just a bit for us. And then going forward from there, the heat really kicks back in over the weekend. Lots of sunshine temperatures around to slightly above 100 so we're in this this stretch of hot weather of course it's early august kind of what we expect this time of year but at least we got a couple of opportunities for a little bit of a break in there so we'll keep our fingers crossed for that and try to stay cool in the meantime